Have you ever wondered how to raise chickens and grow organic vegetables effectively? Why it's like mastering the art of a mini ecosystem right in your backyard. Imagine the thrill of collecting fresh eggs each morning, or harvesting your very own grown bitter melon. Picture the joy of knowing you're contributing to sustainable and ethical farming practices. The possibilities, my friends, are endless. So let's dive into the world of backyard farming and self-sufficiency. Stay tuned as we unveil the genius techniques for these tasks. Raising chickens can be a rewarding experience, offering fresh eggs and organic meat. It's not just about the products though, there's something immensely satisfying about nurturing these creatures from hatchlings to full-grown hens or roosters. Now let's start with the basics. The first step is choosing the right breed. The breed you choose will depend on your goals. Are you raising chickens for eggs, meat, or both? Some breeds, like the Rhode Island Red, are known for their egg-laying prowess, while others, like the Cornish Cross, are favored for their meat. And then there are dual-purpose breeds like the Sussex, which provide both eggs and meat. Once you've chosen your breed, it's time to set up a coop. Your chicken's home should be sturdy, predator-proof, and well-ventilated. A good rule of thumb is to allow at least two square feet of space per bird, but more is always better. Remember, a cramped coop can lead to stressed chickens, and stressed chickens don't lay eggs or grow as well. Next is the diet. Chickens are omnivores, meaning they eat both plants and meat. A balanced diet is key to their health and productivity. Commercially available chicken feeds are usually well balanced, but it doesn't hurt to supplement their diet with kitchen scraps and garden waste. Just remember, some foods are toxic to chickens like onions and chocolate, so do your research before tossing anything into the chicken run. And lastly, don't forget water. Chickens need constant access to clean, fresh water, especially in hot weather. A full-grown chicken can drink up to a quart of water a day, so make sure their water containers are always filled. Raising chickens is a commitment, but it's one that can bring great rewards. Not only can you enjoy fresh, organic products, but you also get the satisfaction of knowing exactly where your food comes from. With these basics, you're ready to start your journey into chicken farming. Now that you know the basics, let's dive into some advanced techniques to ensure your chickens thrive. First up, managing chicken health. Chickens, like any other pet or livestock, need regular health checks. Keep a keen eye out for any changes in their behavior, appetite, or physical appearance. Unusual changes may indicate health issues that need to be addressed promptly. This could range from common poultry diseases to nutritional deficiencies. Remember, prevention is better than cure. Regular vaccinations and a balanced diet can save you from a lot of trouble down the line. Next, let's talk about dealing with pests. Chickens can be a magnet for various pests like mites, lice, and flies. These pests can cause discomfort and health issues for your chickens. Regular cleaning of the coop and the use of natural pest repellents can help keep these nuisances at bay. Also, consider introducing natural predators of these pests into your yard, like ladybugs and spiders. Now let's touch upon the importance of regular checkups for the chickens. Regular checkups help you catch any potential issues early, and keep your chickens in optimal health. These checkups can be done by a professional vet, or you can learn to do them yourself. They include checking the chicken's weight, feather condition, and any signs of parasites or illness. Last but not least, remember to give your chickens plenty of space to roam, Overcrowding can lead to stress, disease, and reduced egg production. Each chicken should have at least 10 square feet of space. Also, keep in mind, happy chickens are productive chickens. Treat them with kindness, provide them with a stimulating environment, and you'll be rewarded with a healthy, productive flock. Master these techniques and your chickens will be both happy and productive. Growing your own organic vegetables can be a healthy and satisfying experience. Imagine biting into a crisp, juicy carrot or a sweet, tangy tomato that you've grown yourself right in your backyard. It's an unparalleled feeling, isn't it? First things first, you need to consider your local climate when choosing vegetables to grow. Different types of veggies thrive in different weather conditions. For instance, leafy greens like spinach and lettuce prefer cooler temperatures while bell peppers and tomatoes love the heat. Do a bit of research to find out what grows best in your area, and you're off to a good start. Next, let's talk about soil. The cornerstone of any successful organic vegetable garden is rich, fertile soil. Organic matter is the secret sauce here. Compost, aged manure or even fallen leaves can be great sources of organic matter to enrich your soil. This not only provides nutrients to your plants but also improves soil structure, enhancing its ability to hold water and air. Now on to fertilizers. Synthetic fertilizers? Not in an organic garden. Organic fertilizers are the way to go. 
They are derived from plant, animal, or mineral sources, and their nutrients are released slowly, providing a steady supply to your plants. Things like bone meal, fish emulsion, or worm castings can work wonders for your garden. Finally, remember, patience is key. Organic gardening is a process, a journey, not just a destination. It might take a bit more time and effort than conventional gardening, but the rewards, oh the rewards are worth it. The taste of homegrown organic veggies, the satisfaction of knowing you're eating food free from harmful chemicals, and the joy of connecting with nature, that's what organic gardening is all about. With these basics, you're ready to start your journey into organic vegetable farming. So roll up your sleeves, get your hands dirty, and let's grow some delicious healthy food together. Now that you know the basics, let's delve into some advanced techniques to ensure your vegetables flourish. First and foremost, let's talk about crop rotation. This technique, as old as agriculture itself, is a pillar of organic farming. By changing the type of crop grown in a particular area each season, you can naturally break the life cycles of pests and diseases, enrich the soil with different nutrients, and prevent soil exhaustion. It's like giving your garden a well-deserved vacation. Next, we dive into the world of pest control. Now don't let the word pest fool you. Not all insects are harmful to your garden. In fact, some are critical allies in your quest for a bountiful harvest. Ladybugs, for instance, are natural predators to aphids, a common garden pest. By attracting beneficial insects, you're employing nature's own pest control service. But remember, even the most beneficial insects can't handle an infestation. That's where companion planting comes in. Certain plants naturally repel specific pests. Planting them strategically can protect your vegetables from unwanted intruders. Finally, let's not forget the importance of regular maintenance. An organic garden is a living, breathing ecosystem that needs your care. Regular weeding, proper watering, and timely harvesting are all crucial to maintain the health of your garden. But it's not just about the plants. The soil too needs your attention. Regular composting can enrich your soil, ensuring it has the nutrients needed for your plants to thrive. Mastering these techniques may take some time, but remember, every garden is unique, and so is every gardener. Experiment, learn from your mistakes, and most importantly, enjoy the process. Master these techniques and your vegetable garden will be both bountiful and organic. Today we've learned some genius techniques for raising chickens and growing organic vegetables. We've unpacked the art of poultry keeping, from selecting the right breeds, to creating the optimum environment for their growth and productivity. We've also delved into the complex yet rewarding world of organic vegetable farming, with a special focus on growing fresh bitter melon. We've discovered that successful chicken raising is not just about feeding and housing your flock, but also about understanding their needs and behaviors. We've learned how to prevent diseases, increase egg production, and ensure the overall well-being of our feathery friends. In our journey through organic farming, we've uncovered the secrets to nurturing bitter melon, a nutritious and versatile crop. We've explored soil preparation, planting techniques, pest control, and the ultimate satisfaction of harvesting this unique vegetable. Remember, these techniques aren't just for the seasoned farmer. Whether you've got acres of farmland or a small backyard plot, you can apply these methods. It's all about using what you have to create a sustainable, organic farm, nurturing both your land and your family with fresh, healthy food. So why not give it a try? Start small, learn as you go, and who knows? You might just discover a new passion, a new hobby, or even a new livelihood. Thank you for joining us today. Remember, with these techniques, you can create a sustainable, organic farm right in your